A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus English. English is just so much fun. English education for you and everyone, so come along. Learn some grammar, hey. learn a phrase, uh -huh. learn something new every day. Learn the A plus way. Start the show. Are you ready? Good plus, here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I want A plus English. Hello, everyone, and welcome to A plus English. I'm Mike. And I'm Laura. How are you feeling today, Laura? I think I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling good. Yeah, you sure? Oh, you're hiding your feelings. Is this a case of smiling depression? I hope it's no. not. No, you can talk to your friends, your mm -hmm. family. You can give me a call anytime. But that's a good question. We talked about smiling、right. depression yesterday, which、mm -hmm. is sort of. The ultimate, or one of the worst ways you can hide、yeah. your feelings. You're super sad and depressed inside, but you smile and go,、oh, "I'm okay. And Nothing's bothering、tell. me." But you're really, really、right. unhappy, and holding those bad feelings in is only going to make it worse. But sometimes we do this, maybe not as much as someone、right? with smiling depression.、Mm. But here's our question: Do you ever hide your feelings, and why? Yeah, of course. You do. I'm pretty sure everybody has, right? Yeah. I sometimes hide my feelings because、mm -hmm. I don't want to bring others down with negativity. Right. Yeah, but with my close friends or boyfriend, I、mm -hmm. mentioned this yesterday.、Yep. Um, open about what when I'm upset or angry, and I complain, I rant, you know, things like that. Okay. Yeah. They're my I mean, friends. Sometimes you know, you, it's the middle of a busy day.、Right. You're not with people you feel comfortable sharing、mm. your feelings with, but it's. It's good that at the end of the day, or at some time, you can get in touch with those people who really know the real、yeah. you, who are willing to listen to you complain or cry or whatever.、Yeah. Um, and I guess sometimes we might also hide our happy feelings. Ah, you know, like you, you win the lottery. You win the lottery, and、it's、you like, go to work,、uh, and you're like, I'm rich. No, you're just、I、like,、quit. yeah, I'm normal. <laughs> I'm having a great day today.、Right. Nothing new is happening. But generally, <laughs> when we talk about hiding our feelings.、Right. We're talking about hiding bad feelings or sad feelings or something like that. Sometimes it's necessary, but it's always good to release those emotions, release that pressure. Let's get to our article and see what we can learn today. Smiling depression. What is it? Warm-up question. Do you ever hide your feelings? Why? Some people experience smiling depression more often than others. For example, in many cultures, men are taught that depression is a weakness, so they learn not to show it. All right. As we get back to the article, this is very true. It says some people experience smiling depression more often than others. I mean, it's、mm. also true to say some people experience depression、right. more often than others. It can、mm. be much bigger, a、uh, bit stronger, much、mm. uh, bigger problem than other people. But also, smiling depression, it is exactly the same. Yeah, absolutely. I agree, especially、mm. for、uh, people who constantly strive to maintain a positive image,、mm -hmm. like celebrities.、Yes. Yeah, they might be more prone to experiencing smiling depression. I know some YouTubers are like、mm. that. They suffer from depression. Yeah. yeah, it's important to remember that appearances can sometimes hide what people are truly going through. Absolutely. For example, it says in many cultures, men are taught that depression. Is a weakness,、ah. so they learn not to show it. They're also taught、mm. in in the same way, or maybe even in a worse way, that talking about their feelings is something men don't do. Men、mm. are strong. Men don't cry. You know, boys don't cry.、Mm. That's what kids are often told. So they grow up thinking, "Oh, I have these feelings, but、oh, I'm a man. I, I can't talk about being sad or depressed、Aww. or whatever." That's a terrible,、no. terrible thing to learn, and a terrible 
terrible way to live because you're gonna be upset at different times, and it's not a weakness to talk about、no. your strength, your your、uh, your emotions.、Yeah. It is actually a strength. Ah,、oh, yes. okay. It's true. So when we mention the word weakness,、mm. it's something we're not good at. Yeah, some people might feel weak when they have to talk in front of a big group because it makes them nervous. So this could be their weakness.、Mm-hmm. Now the opposite of that is what you just said. Strength, something we're good at.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess my strength is speaking different languages or、yeah. learning a new language、mm-hmm. fast. Cause、mm-hmm. I love to talk and make friends. Boy,、Woo-hoo. you love to talk. Oh、yeah. boy, talking all the time. Talk, talk, talk. No, I'm just joking.、Oh, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> You're being mean. <laughs> no, I'm not being mean at all. But yeah, I agree with you. My mom、uh-huh. used to actually even say this to me, not just to boys.、Uh, she says like, "Yeah, stop crying. You know, it's kind of like a sign of weakness." So yeah,、hmm. do you think it's okay to cry in front of people, or do you feel comfortable showing your weakness? Well, I think it would have to be with close friends.、Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna just walk down the street going, "Ah, <laughs> I'm so," because、no, no. that would be a little、yeah. strange for other people.、Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, you know, boys were told boys don't cry.、Mm. The strong, silent type—that was、oh. how he described like the perfect man. Along, I think the strong, sensitive type. Is、ah. is a good thing to be. You can be sensitive. You can talk about your emotions.、Exactly. You can be strong for other people when they need you to, you know,、oh. hold them up or something like that. So I feel totally comfortable crying or talking about、nice. my feelings with my close friends and、right. stuff like that. But I don't sit at home doing it a lot. No, you know, I try、no. to just、uh, do other things to improve my mood. But yeah,、sure. when something is too much. Let it out,、yeah. and it is true. After you cry, you will feel better and sleepy. Inside and sleepy <laughs> too, son. And it's good for your skin.、Mm. All right,、oh, nice, nice. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick break. What should you do to help someone with smiling depression? Check in with people and support them. Let them know it's okay to show their weakness or not to be okay. Tell them they don't have to deal with problems all by themselves. Help them find a therapist to talk to. Don't dismiss their emotions. There are many ways to deal with this problem. Medicine, exercise, good sleep, and healthy food can all help people with smiling depression. All right, so back to the article. Now we get into our good advice section.、Oh. What should you do to help someone with smiling depression? So now we understand a little bit more about what it is. We might be able to recognize it in ourselves or in other people. So you know, if you have it, you know. Talk about it. Let your feelings out. That kind of thing is good for you. What about if it's a person you know, someone you love, someone you care、mm. about? So what can you do? Check in with people and support them. Absolutely. Don't think, oh, I don't want to bother them. They seem kind of upset, but I don't want to bother them. That kind of thing. No, don't worry about it. Those people might be sitting at home waiting for someone to call、Aww. and show some interest, so some show some concern.、Mm-hmm. So do it. Pick up the phone. Let that person know that you're thinking about them, and if there's anything they want to talk about. You are the one they can go to. Let them know it's okay to show their weakness or not to be okay. It's okay, okay. to not, not be, be okay. okay. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Helping friends when they are feeling down is、yes. really important.、There. Just talk to them and、mm. tell them it's okay to not feel great sometimes.、Mm-hmm. To not be okay.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. When I was younger, I didn't like showing when I felt weak. You were strong. But as I, I got older.、Mm-hmm. Not old, okay. I learned that much of the stress comes from ourselves. So, yes. So don't think too much and love yourself. Once again, I have to stress this.、Mm-hmm. And remember, being a good friend can make a big impact. Being a good friend to yourself、oh. as well.、Oh. You're my best friend. There you、right? go. I like you. <laughs> All right, back to the article. Tell them the person that you know who might be dealing with depression. Tell them they don't have to deal with problems all by themselves. We are there、mm. together. We will support、Aww. you and help you, or even just be a shoulder to cry on, or a friendly、Aww. ear to listen to your problems. And yes, if people have this and it's more serious, 
therapist.、Mm -hmm. Help them find a therapist to talk to. Talking therapy can be、mm -hmm. good. In some cases, medication can also medicine can also help. You know, if the problem is very serious, but there is help out there. Starting with your friends and family, and going into all sorts of other options that maybe you don't know about. Exactly. Well, I know that talking to a therapist might not be something everyone does often in Taiwan,、mm. but things、mm. are improving.、Yeah. So sometimes people who always seem confident and happy might try to manage problems alone.、Mm -hmm. However, this. As we said, could lead to smiling depression. So, letting them know that finding a therapist to talk to can be really helpful、mm -hmm. and better for dealing with tough times. Yeah, as we said yesterday, there's lots of resources you can find online. Phone lines you can call. I think even if you go to your local hospital,、mm. they'll be able to guide you to people who can help you, and that would be a good start. All right. So, how do you generally deal with your bad、mm. feelings? Negative, sad,、um, you know,、depressing. most of the time I would actually just get lot of sleep. Okay. Yeah, lots of sleep helps. Yeah. But and then talking to my friends. But if it gets worse, I think,、mm -hmm. uh, I think I got really stressed out once at、mm -hmm. work、oh. and I couldn't sleep well. Oh, that's so, the worst. So yeah, I went to the doctor. Okay. Yeah, and that got better. I took some medicine and I I did actually、um, talk to the doctor about my problems、mm. and my stress at work. So this is. If it gets that bad,、yep. I would actually go to、okay. see a doctor. And actually, one of the things that reminds me, one of the things doctors often、right? recommend these days before you take medicine right, or something, right? Exercise. <gasps>、oh、exercise God, can be really good for you. It releases like happy、uh, chemicals in your brain, right? And it gets you out of the house and stuff. So、mm. that might be another thing. If you're sitting at home and you feel depressed, get out there and take a walk. Go for a bike ride down by the river or through、like、the forest. Get into nature if you. Can but exercise can actually be really good for your brain as well as your body. Back to the article. Don't dismiss their emotions. If someone comes、oh. to you and they're like, "I'm so sad," you don't say, "Why can you? Why are you sad? You're good looking. You got a good job. Ah,、oh, oh, stop complaining. Don't do that. Their emotions are their emotions, and often these problems are in the chemicals in your brain.、Right. It's not just because that person. Can't see the good things in life. It's because they have a problem. They have a physical problem that you know they need help with. So don't、mm. just blow them off or dismiss their emotions、oh, no. as not being important or、mm -hmm. they're complaining all the time or something. No, there are many ways to deal with this problem, and people often go through things that we can understand、mm -hmm. but not fully feel. Right? right. So it's important to listen. Yeah. So to dismiss someone's emotions means to not take their feelings seriously、yeah. or to ignore how they are feeling. Ah, you'll be fine. Yeah. It's like when someone tells you they're sad, but you act like it's not a big、uh, deal and、yeah. don't pay attention. You know, it's okay. There you go. Absolutely. Back to the article: medicine, exercise, good、ah. sleep, and healthy food. Oh, that's another good one. Healthy food can all help people with smiling depression. Didn't I read recently? That French fries make you depressed. What? I think I read that recently. Something about the、uh, oil and cooking of the potato. There's something about French, French fries. French fries. It's true. I don't know. I just seem to remember reading this in a newspaper not too long ago. I But think bananas are good for the people. With, really? Yeah. Okay. Potassium or something.、Probably. I don't know. But yeah, healthy food is definitely、yeah. better for your mind and your body, of course, than junk food and stuff like that. So. Yes, all of these other things that are good for you、totally. are good for you in all parts,、yeah. even your toenails. Definitely, good sleep. It's so、yes. important. It even helps people like me who don't have smiling depression.、Mm -hmm. When I get、mm -hmm. a good night's sleep, I'm all recharged with positive energy. Woohoo! Woohoo! And for those dealing with smiling depression, combining medicine, exercise. Healthy food and good sleep and good can make a good difference too. Good、yes. friends. So yeah, taking care of our bodies is like giving ourselves a superpower boost.、Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's okay to not be okay. I agree. 今天学到超多的事情，但是也别忘了我们的单词哦，像是 experience 当做动词来用，有经历的意思。
For example, traveling to a new place allows you to experience different foods, languages, and sights. 如果前往新的地方旅行，可以让你能体验不同的食物、语言还有风景哦。来看一下单词例句的用法。Sam experienced many hard times this year, so he took a break from work. Sam 今年经历了很多的磨难，所以他决定先不工作，休息一下喽。那再来是看到 culture 这个名词哦，就是文化。For example, learning about different countries' holidays helps us understand their culture. 了解不同国家的节日有助于我们理解他们的文化。又或者 Billy went to a foreign country and enjoyed the different culture there. Billy 出国并在当地享受了不同的文化。那刚刚有提到情绪这个字，还记得它的英文吗？就是 emotion 这个名词。考考你们，喜怒哀乐会不会说？喜 happiness， 呃，怒 anger， 哀 sadness， 我们一直在提到的哦。还有乐，我们可以提到 joy， 用这个字哦。那我们来看一下怎么用在一个句子中呢 ？Watching a sad movie might bring out emotions and make you cry。看一部。悲伤的电影可能会引起你的情绪啊，让你怎么样哭泣哦。还有单字例句提到的是 ，The movie made me scared, happy, and sad. It really touched my emotions. 哪一部电影啊？这部电影让我感到害怕、快乐又悲伤，它着实牵动了我的情绪。再来就是 sleep， 超重要的就是睡眠。本课是当做名词来用哦。For example, sometimes staying up late to chat with friends can be fun, but it's but it's important to balance it with enough sleep. 有时候熬夜和朋友聊天可能很赞很好玩啦，但是平衡好这个熬夜和充足的睡眠很重要。哎，我昨天真的聊太晚了，现在有点想睡。再来看一下单字例句的用法。People should try to get at least eight hours of sleep every night. 人们应该试着每晚睡满这个八至少八小时哦。再来，我们有提到 check in with somebody 这个片语，意思就是有关心某人或是确认某人是否无恙，是否还 OK。For example, Hey, just wanted to check in with you. How's your day going? 哦、oh, ，只是想要关心你一下，你今天过得如何？有时候关怀朋友很重要哦。又或者我们可以这么用 ：I'll check in with my friend after school to see if we're still hanging out. 放学后我会跟朋友确认一下，看我们哎还有没有要约好，要一些见面一下哦。再来，我们提到是 deal with 这个片语，就是有应付啊、处理的意思。For example. Can you help me deal with this tough math problem? It's giving me a headache. 你可以帮我，就是怎么样，就是应对这个难题。通常数学题目就很头痛，它让我非常头痛。那有时候可能是 deal with something funny like this. Let's deal with our hunger by ordering some pizza for dinner. 我们来点一些披萨来解决。晚餐的饥饿吧。好啦，今天我们学到太多的，就是单字、片语，还有非常重要的知识，一定要学起来哟。Review time. All right, everyone. We have four words and just a little bit of time to review them. These are the four words from our article. Remember, experience. Culture, emotion, and sleep. Sleep. Yeah, that was the one.、Uh, so、uh, we're going to play a game of fill in the blanks. Oh, my favorite. Are、favorites. you ready? Ready. Are you excited? I am. Are you filled with blank? Emotions. Ooh, well done. I can tell you are a real student of blank. Culture. Yeah, culture. Yeah.、Mm. I mean, Um, and you study so hard that you might need a good long blank. Sleep. Yes, and once you do that, that will be a wonderful, or you will you will blank a new emotion. 
I will experience, you will experience a new emotion. A new emotion. Very well done. I couldn't、hopefully. quite make a story because、mm, those words are a little、mm, everywhere, a little hard. But I、yeah. feel good about that, and I feel good about talking to you guys. Hope you feel good about yourselves because you should. And if you don't, have a chat with someone. Go for a jog. Eat an apple. Listen to a happy song, or do all of those at the same time. Talk to your friend while yeah, jogging, eat while an eating an apple, while listening、Let's、to a song. Do that. You're you will be so busy you won't have time to be sad. <laughs> That's right. There you go.、Okay. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye. Magic box. いらっしゃいませ。客人您好。哎，我是这边的妈妈桑罗斯，跟您推荐一下啊。今天我们的特餐，那就是呢 that 所引导的名词子句哦。嘿，客人哦，你不知道名词子句是什么吗？没关系呢，马上让我来帮你介绍一下喽。首先啊，我们都知道呢，名词，名词呢就是你、我、他，或者是东西，或是动物，哎，这些呢都可以是名词，它就是一个名字，它呢在句子里啊就可以当做助词、当受词、当同位语都可以。那在一个句子里面呢，它呢可以发挥名词的功能的另一个小句子，哎，这个句子呢，它呢就是名词子句啦。那至于名词子句要怎么形成呢？哎，我们就要请出 that 来帮忙喽。我们呢，首先呢来看看名词子句当受词要怎么用。受词呢，想当然尔就是呢在动词的后面承受这个动作的这个名词了，所以呢，我们马上来看到这个句子喽。I believe that a black cat will bring bad luck. 哎，别看我这样啊，其实呢，我可是很迷信的。我相信呢，这个黑猫会带来霉运。我相信。Believe 这个动词呢，后面呢我们就接上了 that。that 呢，再直接接上另外一个句子。此时呢，意思就是我相信 that 所引导的这个句子所说的这件事情。这就是名词子句的形成以及用法喽。那这个名词子句能不能发挥名词的其他功用呢？当然是可以的喽。比方说呢，哎，我们好像没有红酒了，这件事情啊，其实是假的。你呢就可以用虚主词来引导。It is not true that we have run out of wine. That 呢，引导的名词子句哦，也可以当成同位语了。比方说呢 ，The news that we are getting a new worker. Is spreading quickly. 哎，我们找到一个新员工，这个新闻呢传得很快。The news is spreading quickly. 这个新闻传很快哦。那哪个新闻呢？这边 that 引导的子句就作为 the news 的同位语喽。那最后呢，我们补充一个用法呢，叫做主词补语，它比较特别喽。意思呢，就是呢 that 引导的名词子句可以作为主词的。补充说明，这个用法呢很常搭配的字哦，包含像是 opinion 意见 ，advice 或是 suggestion。OK， 建议 OK 很常搭配这些字来使用了。比方说呢，哎，刚刚哦，就是因为这个酒柜太隐秘了，我们的新同事呢一时之间找不到，才会以为我们红酒喝完了。My suggestion is that. We should install a new fridge. 我的建议呢，就是啊，我们应该要装一个新冰箱啦，不要这么难用的，好不好？这边 that 后面接的句子呢，就是补充说明 my suggestion， 我的建议到底是什么了。以上呢，就是今天的特餐 that 引导的名词子句的用法大补贴啦。客人，你还满意吗？阿里阿多，这个在吗？